yeah, um, this, ne this poem I kind of like decided to do quite last minute. I do this thing with someone where um, a friend kind of like wanted to get a bit more creative to do, um, suggested like doing a little bit of poetry each day and sending messages. So this poem kind of came out of that recently. And, um, but it, it, yeah, it was inspired, inspired by quite a few different things. Um, I'm in quite um, a good mood at the moment and it kind of was one of those days where it could have gone like either way because um, I, I asked um, this kind of new friend of mine who I quite fancy um, to come out on the 14th of February and I like basically, <laughs> <laughs> basically tricked them into set, like coming out with me and they don't actually, they don't even know what day it is but um, anyway, um, so kind of about that person and it's also it was inspired by um, um, a poet who's actually going to be featuring um, um, a few months down the line called Ollie Watson who was inspired by another poet um, so yeah this uh, also might be worth mentioning um, the title I've called it isness so this was uh, a friend of mine introduced me to this meditation um, guided meditation uh, by someone called Muji, and it talks about the isness. And um, it's on Spotify. I really recommend it. It's like half an hour long, or there's a twenty-minute one. And um, I don't know. Like ever since she introduced it to, um, to me, I've like become obsessed with it. Um, so yeah, that comes up as a reference in it. So isness. He is model making and picking up pencils for fun. I schedule in baths as though self-care is a chore when all I have to do is clean three rooms and wash up after I cook. He is doing chores whilst I stare into space wanting to jump his bones forgetting how to formulate sentences when YouTube videos are talking at us. I am that ache in the chorus of a song I listen to on the 93 bus to his place. He is pork chops, popcorn and Tim Tams. He leaves voice notes and sometimes I don't know what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> I am chickpeas and tuna, paella recipes and chocolate washed down with milk. Fearful, I am too quiet sometimes, that my head is too full of thoughts. He is a future argument about, why, about his lack of organisation, <coughs> why there's no food, the place is a mess and I want to make his ears bleed with my music. This guy, he doesn't like music. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, I don't care. Right now, I think this is good for me. I am learning how to talk better. I am a future argument about my lack of spontaneity, why I think about my stomach above all else. My head is a mess and he wants to pick spots on my back I didn't even know I had. <laughs> but now I like the familiarity, I like his touch even when picking on me. We spoon sometimes, kiss even. If I ask nicely, he'll make me come and I'll say thank you unnecessarily to remind myself this is casual. And I make myself a casualty, hopeful, expectant of his touch, and I know this is all probably too much. This poem is probably too long for someone who doesn't want a relationship, let alone children, for someone who is meant to be a friend. So I go to Edinburgh alone, listen to Muji talk to me about isness in the morning, go about my day resisting the urge to tell him about the baby who smiled at me, that I ate some of the snacks he got me and all the wishful plans inside my head trying to find a way back into his bed. Thank you. Yay.